Hello, my dear students. I welcome you all to my English class. Today, in this video, we will learn what is a job application. We will learn for format of it, okay, and uh, what is its marks distribution, and we will end the video with an ideal example. So please be ready. Let's move ahead. Let me tell you what is a job application. A job application letter is written in response to advertisements published in newspaper or those of employment agencies. Students usually we see vacancies in the newspaper. So in job application, we use newspapers as agency of information. Okay, you can include television, social media as well. But before that, you should read the question properly. If through television, the information has reached to you according to the question, then you should use television, else you will mention newspaper. Okay. Let's see the another section. A job application letter consists of two parts. First, part A covers main letter. And the second part covers bio data or curriculum VT. Okay, pronunciation will be curriculum VT, CV. Let's see the marks distribution. Letter will carry three marks and bio data has three marks. Therefore, the even though the format is same in this letter, okay, here we will follow formal letter format, but the content will be less. Okay, the content you have to concise because it is only of three marks. And remember students, if you write only letter and if you exclude by data, you will be given marks out of three. Okay. And if you write only by data and not letter, in this case as well, you are going to get only out of three. Understood? Therefore, both the parts are important so first of all you will complete the letter and then you will complete by data it's not difficult at all please be with me i will tell you how simply you are going to complete it and remember students if you write everything properly you will get six out of six so here page one of format here we are going to follow formal letter format which we have already done in business letters okay at first, we have to mention sender's address, date, receiver's address. And for this, you can look into the question paper. Okay. Into the question paper, you will find it. If you don't get it, you have to create it by yourself. Okay. So, sender's address, sender's address, date, receiver's address, salutation and subject. Then, first paragraph, that is intro paragraph. What you have to mention here, let's see. Here, mention the source from where you got the information about the vacancy for the post. I told you usually it's newspaper. But in the question, if it is mentioned television or social media, you have to stick to that. Okay. Format of job application, page 2. After that, we will mention body. In body section, we have to write brief summary of the qualification of the candidate here it includes academic and professional qualification along with experience and previous job status okay academics it should include 10th class onwards okay 10th class onwards you will 10th 12th your graduation degree and masters okay apart from that if you have any qualification then you have to create another section and then you have to write it, especially in professional qualification. I will tell you how you are going to do it. Okay, apart from that, experience. Where did you work till now? Okay, and what is your experience? Everything you have to mention. Giving entire time duration and institution's name. Okay, how many years you have worked in that firm? Okay. Firm's name, company's name also you have to mention. Company, school, organization, whatever it is, you have to mention that. 
after that conclusion you have to conclude the letter and here you have to write reference okay biodata and cv will be included along with photograph and other details all right express your wish to attend an interview here here you have to mention whenever it is convenient for the interviewers you will be ready to come for the interview in last paragraph this is page 3 format of application job application here finish the covering letter on a promising and positive note here that you have to mention that very dedicatedly you are going to work in that company okay if opportunity is given to you you are going to leave no stone unturned to satisfy your seniors okay and at the end of the letter you have to mention enclose yours okay here you have to write number 1 2 3 the way i have written out here first you will write bio data then copies of certificate passport size photographs exactly this you have to copy okay there won't be any changes here and in bio data you have to include your information here is the bio data first you have to mention name name of the candidate in capital letters then age and date of birth father's name nationality gender marital status address for communication telephone number email id and here this is extremely important okay you have to make a box inside it you have to mention academic and professional qualification here these are qualification of the candidate and if there is any professional qualification as well you can mention here itself if not you can make another box for professional qualification as well the way we have created out here okay the way we have created box out here you can create this for professional qualification also but if not then in this way as well you can make a box and write at first name of the examination university and board date year of passing and percentage first you will mention class 10th details then 12th then comes graduations details and then masters details this is half i will show you and rest of the portion as well see here this will conclude your bio data this is computer skills or you can say extra qualification okay extra qualification then project and training here you have to whatever you have done you can include in a proper way apart from these things if question asks something else then you can include those things as well just give the title give the heading like this and then include your details your bio data your letter should be according to the question okay the example which i have showed you it is ideal one but if question ask something else then you have to modify it accordingly all right keep this thing in mind so here scholarships if any you have got in the school or college then comes hobbies and references here in reference you have to mention to your locality who knows you well it could be teacher it could be doctor it could be some politician okay but you have to mention their name and uh, their designation and their phone number this is must okay you have to write reference 1 and 2 if you write only one reference then your marks will be deducted so first name of the person then who is he then phone number okay and this will conclude your bio data and letter letter and bio data okay i hope this is clear to everyone If you have any queries you can ask me anytime thank you students